Good morning. I'm Chris Williston, President and CEO of the Independent Bankers Association of Texas, and welcome to the second installment of IBAT's video blog. At the beginning of each month, immediately preceding the bottom line electronic newsletter, I will be highlighting IBAT activities for the month via live video blog like this one. Let me first get you caught up on what's happening in Washington, D.C. Last week, I traveled to our nation's capital for important meetings with our Texas congressional delegation and with key decision makers in our regulatory agencies. Over the next few weeks, important deadlines will be realized as our regulatory agencies begin implementing many of the provisions contained in last year's Dodd-Frank legislation. I hope you'll stay tuned for further updates. Now let's turn our attention to a very important public service initiative here at IBAT. It's the Texting Kills campaign to keep our kids and adults from texting while driving. This program has already been successfully implemented at community service projects in several of our IBAT member banks. Next week, you'll receive a special mailer from me with all of the details. You can tailor the campaign to your bank or you can partner with your colleagues down the street. This is a win-win for all of us and especially for our children. I'd also like to take a moment to congratulate Angie Brown of the First National Bank of Giddings on her election as president of the IBAT Leadership Division and commend Gary Wells of Happy State Bank for his leadership of the division this past year. Your IBAT Leadership Division is unique. There are few that have enjoyed the success combining fellowship with hard work and helping IBAT and community banking to advance our political agenda both in Austin and in Washington, D.C. If you're not a member, I encourage you to sign up. The dues are nominal and the benefits to you and your bank are tremendous. If you're a member and want to become more involved, call us and we'll put you to work. The entire IBAT staff is busy preparing for the 37th annual IBAT convention at the Weston La Quintera Resort in San Antonio, October 1 through 4. Monday, October 3rd, will be filled with learning labs and roundtable discussions addressing some of the most pressing challenges your bank faces today. I promise that you will leave the convention with a better understanding of how you, your board, and your staff can manage and survive the post-Dodd-Frank era. More importantly, this event is the largest state gathering of community bankers, an excellent way to connect with your peers and experience firsthand while we call IBAT family. And please don't forget to donate items to the IBAT PAC auction. This auction is one of their biggest fundraisers of the year for our political action committee. And if you don't have time to shop for an item, just send us your money and IBAT staff will be doing the shopping for you. August 19th is the early bird deadline to register for the convention and be watching for further details in the mail soon. IBAT is pleased to announce our latest improvement with the annual IBAT Salary Survey. We're taking it online starting July 6th. Texas community banks can submit their specific bank compensation data online at www.ibatinetrics.com. The cost of the survey has not changed. The questionnaire remains the most robust in the industry. We are truly enhancing accessibility and usefulness for your bank. We are truly excited about taking the salary survey to the next level and I invite you to join us in making this the best survey yet. Well, this concludes our video blog for July 2011. I hope you're enjoying your summer and as always, it's a pleasure to serve this great industry and we invite you to call on us whenever we can be of assistance to you.